Hey there, everybody. Today we're going to be checking out Randy Travis, Three Wooden Crosses. Uh, my name is Francis, so welcome back to another video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe also, greatly appreciate it with that. All right, let's get straight into it. Here to sing the song that won him a Dove and a CMA Award, the song of the year back in 2003. Here's Randy singing. CMA is Country Music Award, right? If I remember correctly. Singing Three Wooden Crosses. A farmer and a teacher. Mm. A hooker and a preacher. Hey, what? <laughs> Yo, sometimes, honestly, I'm sorry I paused it, but sometimes, man, country music be throwing the randomest line ever and you're just supposed to be okay with it and the man just put a hooker into it i was like wait what i'm, I'm sure there is a reason to it let's just keep hearing it riding on a midnight bus bound from mexico one was headed for vacation one for higher education and two of them were searching for lost souls Oh, that makes sense. Okay. All right. All right. Just three people lost and trying to find their way. I hope that's the correct meaning. I am interpreting. But if not, I missed the mark. But his voice is so deep. Like, really nice and low. Like, when he sings like that. But, you know, um, that's nice. That driver never ever saw the stop sign. And 18 wheelers can't stop on a dime. There are three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway. While there's not one of them, heaven only knows. I guess it's not what you take when you leave this world behind you. It's what you leave behind you. Wow, that was dark. Okay, all right. Okay. Wow, that hit different compared to what I was ready for, but ooh, 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 ooh. that's heavy. That's heavy, Randy. That's heavy, but that's true. It's true. Honestly, your worldly be belonging and everything like that, you know, doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you're gone, you're gone. Doesn't matter who you are at that point, you're gone. Right? Came into this world with nothing and you're going to leave this world with nothing. You might leave legacy behind, kids, you know, family and everything, but you can't take them with you technically because you really are just going by yourself. That makes sense. That farmer left to harvest a home that is so sad like now that you think about it it's like you think honestly you're in this world and you have so much to give so much to uh, accomplish or so much to like pass down anything and stuff like that but then you don't think about it like in a sense like how much time do you really have because at any time anyone can go anytime you know how crazy that is like i i compliment that thoughts contemplate not compliment contemplate that thoughts constantly every day it's one of those things where it's like have i done enough for me personally me myself to say yes if any time that's okay. And that drive me personally to do more. Right? But whew, this is a heavy song. That preacher whispered, can't you see the promised land? Mm. The latest blood stained Bible in that hooker's hand. There are three wooden crosses on the right. 
Okay, that's very, very interesting. Um, there's three of them, and I'm guessing probably it's the hooker. There was no sign for because there wasn't anybody there, like family, a loved one. But the pastor told them, like, like, can't you see heaven is waiting for you? Which is such a reassuring thing, especially if someone that's passing away like that. And, you know, if you don't have nobody around you or anything like that, no loved one or anything, and even if you've been abandoned, you know, you lost people and stuff like that. But it's just a, such a good re uh, reaffirmment when somebody, like, on your last time, say something so nice and so well for you it makes you go in peace i i hope that like, that would be my case in that <laughs> in the future i hope right yeah like i'm hope i'm knocking on wood that it's not a bad tragic accident or anything but something like that is just profound that's a story that our preacher told last sunday as he held that blood-stained Bible up for all of us to see, he said, Bless the farmer and the teacher and the preacher who gave this Bible to my mama who read it to me. Ah, interesting. So, preacher gets something, um, a farmer gets something, and the teacher gets something not the hooker at the end of the day i guess like it's not a well-respected profession i get it but that's just sad man that is really sad there are three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway why there's not four of them now i guess we know it's not what you take But you leave behind you when you go. There are three wood crosses on the right side of the highway. Oh my gosh. That is that is so sad. Yes, yes, it's a great message. Yes, yes, I understand. What you leave behind can play very important on how people remember you. But one thing also I've always thought about it is one of those things is just, yes, people will sorrow and cry for you and miss you and everything. But at the same time, like I, I keep witnessing this. It's like people cry, come to you, to your burial and everything once you lay down by the afternoon people will just like come in to remember you talk about you and everything and then boom slowly a week go by people start getting back to their uh, daily regimen their daily stuff and it's just it's such a profound thing as i'm alive seeing that and how people move about but at the same time it's great because it's like it'll be okay you know your loved ones will be okay the people behind you live behind will be okay as long as you've done enough for yourself and for them you know um hopefully they remember they keep remembering your legacy they keep remembering you and to last you for a long time but oh it's just it's just oh it's a he it's a heavy thing man but that's gonna be the end of the video guys if you guys enjoyed this video subscribe greatly appreciate it all right i'll see you guys later peace out